What's going on YouTube land? It's your boy Jado here and I'm back with another video to quench your channel needs. Now, this is only a short one this time around. Uh, I'm just gonna go through and do a quick overview of my vlogging setup, uh, where I purchased the items from, uh, costs, my general thoughts about uh, each of my items for my rig. Um, I'll leave pricing and hopefully a, uh, a location or uh, the name of the person that I buy all my, all my equipment off from. Uh, again, it's sourced locally here in Perth, uh, Perth, Western Australia that is. So if, for those that don't know, it's uh, the land out under, uh, west, west, coast part, west coast of Australia uh, in a city called Perth or P-Town. So yeah, this is my rig. Uh, again, just a short video, quick overview. And um, yeah, I hope you like it. Okay, so this is my uh, vlogging setup, my rig uh, that I will be using for the, for the meantime until I you know, get my head around things and, and sort of look at upgrading down the track um, as I start getting better with my videos and probably want to step it up to some, some better sort of quality equipment, um, some more high-end equipment. Uh, but for now, it's, it's, what, I, it's what I've got. And it works well, and it's it's affordable, and that's the main um, the main thing for me. Because just starting off, I didn't want to outlay too much money uh, on equipment, and um, yeah, I was able to source everything here in Perth, which is really good too. Because unfortunately, online it does take a little bit longer here in Australia um, in regards to getting things posted out, um, and and you know just waiting periods and waiting times. So yeah, that's a bit of a challenge. <clears throat> At least this way, I was managed to find all, all, all hardware here in Perth. I was able to, um, you know, have a look at it, be hands on with it, uh, rather than just uh, being able to uh, only looking at uh, looking at from uh, on, an online page, so online website. So yeah, um, let's just start off with a, a quick rundown and overview. So I've got my laptop there. Uh, it's a Dell G5 Series 15 gaming laptop. Again. <laughs> Not maybe it's like overkill, but I did buy it sometime. We did buy it sometime back, my wife and I, uh, for the purposes of me gaming, but also to just longevity, so we don't have to upgrade um, down the track. You know, it's it's got all the high end specs, so you know it, it will last us for a good amount of time. But it handles the um, Adobe uh, Adobe software editing software really, really well. It's seamless. It it um, it handles the editing process. Um, without any struggles or any problems. And that's where I do all my, um, well, I will, I will be doing a lot of my editing uh, on that. So that's the laptop side of things, that's the computer side of things. Now let's start off with, I guess the essential bit of kit is the GoPro. Uh, this is the Hero 7 Black. Um, great little, great little uh, camera. We've taken this everywhere, my wife and I. We've, um, you know, over through Europe, America, South America. Um, Mexico, uh, it's it's seen better days. Well, it, I mean, it's still in pretty good nick. It's it's a rugged construction. It's got a few little little cosmetic you know, blemishes here and there, but overall, the camera works fine. There's no issues with it. Um, good little bit of kit. Um, it's sturdy. It it produces or records in high quality video um, and captures uh, great pictures as well uh, for being a I guess a an action or a, an outdoor or just on the go type of camera. Um, yeah, GoPro 7 Black, it's, it's, it's been really good so far. I uh, didn't want to up, think about upgrading uh, before I started my, the vlogging uh, channel, uh, my channel, because I just didn't want to outlay an exorbitant amount of money uh, on a new GoPro uh, or any other sort of camera. So we work with what we got, okay. And then we've got the GoPro adapter. Now the 3.5 millimeter mic adapter. Uh, now this were I picked up for 89, uh, sorry, $79, uh, $79.95 uh, to be exact. Now with the GoPro 7, unfortunately it doesn't have an inbuilt microphone or specific microphone. Unlike the uh, models up 
uh, from the seven which have superseded the seven, so from eight and up, they are all they all have inbuilt uh, microphones, external microphones. So this allows me to plug this in uh, an aftermarket microphone and be able to record high quality audio. Um, it has a three point five millimeter jack, which plugs straight into the port in the adapter. Okay. And it also has a USB uh, port there, type C, I think it is, um, which you can connect your power banks to and external power source if the GoPro is running low on battery power. And yes, it comes. It has, it's very handy if you if you're recording uh, long videos and you are running out of power or need an external power source. So that's the GoPro adapter, microphone adapter. Okay, and then that leads us to the microphone again. Um, it's by a company called Boya. I did some research, but the person I bought the equipment off, she uh, runs a, a little home store which supplies um, lots of camera equipment, um, audio equipment, f you know, for, uh, I guess, people starting off or who want to record uh, videos or vlogs like this. Um, on a sort of smaller scale, but she has she has everything. She has all the equipment there, and she's quite knowledgeable. Um, so I bought this for I think it was twenty five dollars for the microphone. I have seen it uh, a little bit more pricier online. Again, I was fortunate enough to source it here in uh, in person. Some of the features here: compact and lightweight mic, rugged construction, no battery required. And it has the furry windshield, or I call it the rat, <laughs> or the muffler. Yeah, so that will uh, help you stop, uh, cut back, or, or filter out wind, any sort of external noises uh, that may disrupt your footage. It will, fil it will muffle that, or just kind of filter it as much as of it out as it can. Um, this comes off. Okay. And you can reattach if you need it. And then this screws down into the into the case, into the into the cage, which I will show you a bit later once we put it all together. Okay. And then we have our lighting source. Again by Ulanzi. Uh, $15 is what I paid for it. Um, yeah, not a bad little kit. Runs on uh, AA batteries, two AA batteries. Um, it still has a little bit of juice in it because unfortunately, we, uh, my son and I left it on when we were mucking around with the video, or, or recording some video, uh, playing around with the light, and I totally forgot about it because it had a dimmable switch, so it did look like it was off. but it was still on. So it's almost drained most of the battery. So we'll see how this goes. Um, it does light up pretty well. Um, I am looking at getting another ex a large external light source. Um, but we'll just have to see see how it goes. And, and just leave a comment below and let me know how, how the overall video looks. Um, any tips on, on lining sources as well that would be greatly appreciated. Uh, and last but not least, you have we have the the cage, the cradle uh, for the GoPro, which I will show you now how it all puts fits in. So this will hold this in place, the GoPro in place. It's made out of metal, so it's very rugged strong, sturdy uh, material. So let's straighten like that. So that's just to hold the GoPro in place. Okay. This is a, a slot here for the adapter, which we feed through. Okay. And then that connects into the USB-C port. 
Okay. 3.5 millimeter jack and power source if required. Yes, made out of really good sturdy material. Um, it has some weight to it. But uh, yeah, it's really handy because this this particular uh, of this particular particular cradle because um, it, it sort of holds the it holds the adapter in place without it dangling because if it did it probably look like this so if we didn't have the cradle or we didn't have the sorry the the holder it would just be hanging off to the side. Okay, and let's put this together and show you what it looks like when assembled. Okay, let me put the light source to the side here, that which screws down. Okay, so microphone slots in at the top where the cradle is it screws down again okay. and then 3.5 millimeter jack and that's how she looks my vlogging rig and then the muffler, the rat, optional. If you're outdoors. Or maybe indoors too, if your room's echoey, like mine is. I'm going to give this a shot on my next video. Okay. Just as a side note, I'm recording this video off my Sony CyberShot. Um, it's an old camera I've had it for about, about six years now. Um, Again, we've taken this, uh, my wife and I, that is, uh, we've taken on all of our travels uh, with us in the past. You know, it's produced some great quality uh, pictures, good video. Um, but again, in order for me to record or do this short overview of my rig, I've had to use something else. So I've had to revert back to the, to the Sony. Um, I'll leave a note or I'll leave, yeah, I'll leave the model number of the camera in the description uh, below, uh, so check it out. All right, thanks, peace.